Hello friends, today in this video, I'm going to discuss about the types of restriction modification system. Okay, so depending upon these three factors, that is the enzyme system complexity, that means the complexity of the restriction enzymes and their cleavage site and the requirements for some cofactors. Now, depending on these three factors, the restriction enzymes are differentiated into these four types okay and these types are type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 2's restriction enzyme now this type 2's restriction enzymes are much more similar with the type 2 okay and that's why they are called type 2's okay so now these are the all properties and depending on these properties i will describe about the about this four restriction enzyme okay so at first discuss about the protein structure that means the restriction enzyme structure so the first type is the type 1 restriction enzyme now this type 1 restriction enzyme is the in single enzyme containing multiple subunit that means they are multi subunit enzyme and in their in, in the one enzyme they have all the function in their different subunit for recognition modification and restriction so let me write suppose this is a type 1 restriction enzyme it is a single enzyme okay and here it have three subunit suppose it have three subunit like this okay and now this different subunit contain different activity or different action so now suppose this subunit is responsible for the recognition that means i signify it as s that is the specificity okay so this subunit is responsible for recognition and suppose this subunit is responsible for restriction that means the cleavage action responsible for cleavage activity and now suppose this subunit is responsible for modification of the dna by methylation okay so these are the three subunits containing multi subunit for their whole function and this is a single enzyme so the type 1 restriction enzymes are single enzyme single enzyme but they are multi subunit it is multi subunit enzyme they are multi subunit enzyme okay so now the next type is the type 2 restriction enzyme this type 2 restriction enzymes are multi enzyme complex then look at this difference this is the single enzyme containing multi subunit but the type 2 restriction enzyme are multi enzyme complex that means they have more than one enzyme and more than one two enzyme conjugated with each other okay so let me draw so suppose this and this two enzyme are present to show the full activity of the restriction modification system in type 2 restriction enzyme okay so these are the two enzyme conjugated with each other and show their full function now this two enzyme one enzyme is responsible for restriction that is for cleavage action and another enzyme is responsible for modification that is for methylation okay so these are the different enzyme and now remember that these two enzyme both contain the recognition property both have the recognition property so they also have the recognition property okay s for specificity this is for specificity or recognition okay so this is these are the type 2 restriction enzymes so they are 
they are multi enzyme complex multi enzyme complex okay so now the third type is the type 3 restriction enzyme and this type 3 restriction enzyme is almost similar to type 1 restriction enzyme that means they are multi subunit enzyme like type 1 but the difference between type 1 and type 3 this type 3 restriction enzymes have only two subunits okay so let me draw suppose this is the whole type 3 restriction enzyme that contain only one enzyme okay and it have only two subunit one two two subunit they only have two subunit and one subunit is responsible for recognition and modification one subunit is responsible for recognition that is s and modification that is m and another subunit is responsible for restriction that is cleavage action another subunit is responsible for cleavage action so see the difference between the type 1 and type 3 type 1 have three subunits one for res recognition restriction and modification now here in type 3 restriction enzyme they have two subunit one for recognition and modification and another for restriction okay so now the last type is the type 2s now this type 2 2 restriction enzymes are also similar to type 2 that means they also have two enzyme that is the multi enzyme complex like type 2 that is like this they have two enzyme complex okay but the difference between this type 2 restriction enzyme that is this type this two enzyme both enzyme recognize different recognition sequence so this enzyme recognize a particular sequence and this enzyme recognize a particular different sequence okay so these enzymes are asymmetric these enzymes is their recognition sequence is asymmetric because they recognize different recognition sequence but the type 2 restriction enzyme recognize the same sequence that means their recognition sequence or target sequence is symmetric they're same so this enzyme and this enzyme both recognize the same sequence okay that is the symmetric so that is the difference between the type 2 restriction type 2 and type 2 restriction enzyme okay and now after some time the researchers researchers found that this type 2 restriction enzymes are also similar to type 3 and type 1 restriction enzyme that means this type 2 restriction enzymes are single enzyme containing multi subunit it is later established or published that discovered that the type 2 restriction enzymes are also contain the one enzyme they contain one enzyme they have one enzyme containing different subunit okay so so this is the single enzyme containing different subunits okay but <clears throat> so now remember that this type 2 restriction enzyme is very rare and less important so that's why in the next properties i will ignore this type 2 restriction enzyme okay now the next property is the cleavage site that means where the restriction enzyme cut or cleave the dna so for type 1 restriction enzyme this type 1 restriction enzyme recognize a non specific random sequence and then cut the dna 1000 base pair downstream of that recognition sequence so suppose this is a dna okay and the type 1 restriction enzyme non specifically or randomly recognize a 
sequence here like this and then they cut the DNA thousand base pair upstream thousand base pair upstream sorry 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 the thousand base pair downstream of the recognition sequence and cut in like in this position okay so this is the cleavage site of the type 1 restriction enzyme and now the type 2 restriction enzyme type 2 type 2 restriction enzyme recognize a particular sequence and then they cut that dna in those restriction site so suppose this is the dna and they particularly recognize a particular sequence in this position and then they cut the DNA in this restriction or recognition site okay so this is the cleavage property of this type 2 restriction enzyme and now the type 3 restriction enzyme type 3 restriction enzyme recognize specifically recognize a particular sequence and then they cut the DNA 24 to 26 base pair up 24 to 26 base pair downstream of the recognition sequence so suppose this is the dna and they specifically recognize in this position okay and then they cut the dna downstream downstream in 24 to 26 base pair downstream and then cut like in this position okay so this is the cleavage site of type 3 restriction enzyme okay so now the next property is the dna cleavage requirement that means what are the requirements to cut the dna okay so at first type 1 restriction enzyme so the type 1 restriction enzyme require Two recognition sequence or two recognition site non-specific two recognition site are required in any orientation and to cut the DNA so the type 1 restriction enzyme required two non-specific recognition sequence to cut the DNA thousand base pair away okay so let me write they require two recognition sequence in any orientation okay and now the type 2 restriction enzyme require only one restriction site to cut the dna so they require one recognition sequence okay and the type 3 restriction enzyme also require two recognition sequence like type 1 restriction enzyme it is two two recognition sequence two recognition sequence but unlike type 1 these two recognition these two specific recognition sequence have to be present in head-to-head -head orientation that means suppose this is the dna and here two recognition sequence are present but these two recognition sequence have to be present in this head-to-head -head direction okay so now the next property is the cofactors so what are the cofactors of these restriction enzymes to perform their full activity now for type 1 restriction enzyme they require three three cofactors that are the atp mg2 plus ion and sam that means s adenosyl is adenosyl methionine is adenosyl methionine that is sam okay and for 
type 2 restriction enzyme they require only magnesium ion okay and type 3 restriction enzyme also require these three cofactors which are required in type 1 that means the SAM that means S adenosyl methionine ATP and MG2 plus okay so these are the cofactors for the activity of this restriction enzymes okay now the next property is the site of methylation that means where the modification by methylation is done in the DNA okay so for all these three types of restriction enzyme the site of methylation is the recognition site that means all these three types of restriction enzyme recognize a sequence and that is the recognition site and the modification is done in that sequence okay so the site of methylation for all these restriction enzyme is the recognition site if that means they methylate in that recognition site if the dna is from genomic dna if the dna is the genomic dna of the bacteria that is its own dna then the methylation is done so now the last property is the importance of cloning so what which restriction enzyme is the most important for the cloning and other molecular biology technique okay sir so the answer is the type 2 restriction enzyme is the most important for cloning and any other molecular biology technique that is because for two reasons. The first one is this type 2 restriction enzyme is a multi enzyme complex. That means they have two enzymes combined with each other. And for cloning and any other molecular, molecular biology technique, we require only the restriction enzyme, not the modification enzyme. We only require the restriction enzyme to cut the DNA for cloning. Okay. So, so to so to take the restriction part or restriction enzyme we can separate this restriction enzyme from the modification enzyme and we can isolate them and use in cloning technique okay but here you can see that the type 1 and type 3 restriction enzymes have a single enzyme containing different containing multi subunit so we cannot Take the restriction enzyme part from this enzyme so that is the disadvantage for type 1 and type 3 restriction mo modification system okay so now the second reason to choose the type 2 restriction enzyme for cloning technique or molecular biology technique that is this restriction enzyme cut the DNA at the same position where the recognition site is present that means the type 2 restriction enzyme recognize a particular sequence and cut the DNA in that position. And for also in cloning technique, we require to cut the DNA at a particular position. And so that reason, that reason we use type 2 restriction enzyme because the type 3 and type 1 restriction enzyme cannot cut the DNA in the particular position because they cut the DNA from the different position or different site from the recognition site and that's why we cannot use type 3 and type 1 restriction enzyme for cloning or any other molecular biology technique okay so these are the all properties of the type 1 type 2 type 3 restriction enzyme restriction modification enzyme okay thank you for watching this video